Hey, good afternoon, Major League Football fans. I'm Commissioner Adam McClain. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Building It. Uh, we just I just got off a call with Coach Fowler. He is our new head coach for the Virginia franchise of Major League Football, so we'll go to that, um, that talk in just a bit. So um, we have, like I was telling Coach Fowler, and by the way, he ended the conversation with uh, thanking me, uh, saying thanks, Coach. So I'm not a coach, but I appreciate it, Coach Fowler. Um, but we, uh, we have got, I was telling Coach Fowler, we have all t the names of all 24 franchises. We're in the process of filing those names with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. So before we can release those names of the teams, um, they have to, we have to have, um, you know, get the approval from our franchise attorney. Uh, so that um, there's no violation or, you know, so that's why we haven't released them soon. Uh, again, what we're doing is we're, uh, in addition, I, I mentioned it last on last week's episode of Building It, we are launching a tabloid monthly sports paper in each of our franchise markets. So make sure you look for that. We're rolling those out starting in January. We're going to be delivering them to a thousand locations in each of our 24 franchises. So each franchise will have its own uh, monthly sports paper, but it's not going to be covering, like I mentioned, uh, just a major league football um, franchise, but any sports in that market. So, for example, Arkansas will be covering the Razorbacks and, and any, any Arkansas uh, high, uh, college, even high school uh, sports will be in that monthly paper that will be available like at grocery stores, restaurants, um, um, sports bars, et cetera, at, again, a thousand locations. So, so it's been a good week. Not a whole lot to report. We're just moving closer. Uh, caught the word today, as I mentioned, uh, with the call with uh, Coach Fowler, that uh, ticket return is going to be sending a link in the next day or two, a, a test link, because they've got the Arkansas ticketing um, uh, completed. So um, all of you living in Arkansas, you will be able to buy tickets. Uh, it should be as soon as next Monday. Don't wait. Don't delay. I will be up in Arkansas this month, so I'm excited about that. We're going to be launching our first uh, tabloid sports paper in Little Rock. So um, that's very exciting to all of us. So again, don't delay, guys, when it comes to buying tickets. We need to sell out all venues. We need to make Major League Football, put Major League Football on the mat nationwide. So... So let's move on to some questions. And guys, uh, uh, you know, forgive me. I'm just reading these questions for the first time. So uh, be patient with me. This one here is from Aima Fazal. We are a manufacturer of exportive sportswear. Uh, we are gold members and certified. So this is basically, um, I don't want to say the solicitation because it's a sales call. And we look at those guys. So, you know, you got you to be willing to reach out and not be bashful. Uh, if you want to do business with us, just like we want to do business with, um, you know, corporate partners, we got to reach out to you guys. We got to, you know, uh, we got to make the effort. So this one here said, um, uh, this is about a job inquiry regarding a general manager position. So they reached out to us and they're waiting to hear. So, um, uh, and that's something else too, which brings up a good point. So there, we have received so many resumes. Uh, I think coaches alone were over a thousand. Um, but so it's a long process, and we want to find the best um, coach, coaches, general managers, players. Uh, administrative staff. So we're looking for the best of the best. And like I was just telling Coach Fowler that, you know, a resume can only tell you so much, right? So it's really until you start working with that individual, um, you know, no difference, you know, so you can see what their, their, their work ethic like is like and their, their, their habits, their, you know, how hard, not just, not just their work ethic, but their integrity, their character. And, so, you know, resume is what you see on paper. And so, um, so there's a lot more to it. So we just, you know, we've had a lot of 
of personnel uh, uh, of changing and personnel because we realized a lot of the people that they just weren't a good fit we weren't maybe a good fit for them and vice versa so we're being a lot more selective so um uh, this gentleman um, adrian just uh, be patient with us and we will uh reach out um, this here uh, from Xavier Kelt. I'm looking to play. Xavier, stay tuned. Uh, keep looking on MajorLeagueFootball.pro tryout link, and that will give you an update. Um, okay, this one here. Hello, I'm not sure how you will be con contracting or hiring out for referees and officials, but I'm very interested in participating in Major League Football as one. So this is from Richard Lampy. So Richard, I'm going to send this. See, you're making progress here. I'm going to send this to um, our team at MajorLeagueFootball.pro because that's where all of our hiring is done. Uh, so, guys, be careful. And like, um, I, uh, this is from Ruben. I would like more information on your league and teams. I am more interested in becoming part of the coaching staff. So, uh, Ruben, again, email team at MajorLeagueFootball.pro. Indicate and be precise and specific exactly you know what you're interested in what kind of coaching are you interested in being you know offensive coordinator defensive uh defensive coordinator secondary coach running back coach indicate what you want and also what market uh what franchise because that's something that brings me to a point we're trying to hire everyone within their market uh one thing is a new league in the first season we don't want to have to pay uh, or take on that um, enormous expense of traveling and relocating people so we're trying to find the best of the best in each of our 24 franchise markets so this here is interesting alexander leo is asking are you guys going to merge with the nfl for the 2026 season and alexander that's a, a good a good question the answer is no that guys that was not our goal and, and I'm glad that Alexander brought this to our attention. Our goal was not to create, like back in the day in the 80s when the USFL, I think that was kind of their plan. I could be wrong. I don't want to speak for them. But again, we are Major League Football. We are no way affiliated with that other Major League Football in the spring that was illegally using our trademark name, nor are we affiliated with it at all with the National Football League. Uh, they are the NFL. We are Major League Football, MLF kicking off in the fall of 2025, going into non-professional uh, markets and, and non-NFL markets, right? Giving great franchise, I mean, giving great markets in the, in the United States, a professional football team to cheer for on this, uh, on Sunday. So Alexander, the, our, our plan was just to, to bring, to fill the void and, and create a great organization, great professional football for Utah. Um, for Portland, Oregon. And how about those Oregon Ducks? Jesus, they're kicking kicking ass, aren't they? Okay, so let's uh, move on to the next one. So hopefully, um, I answer this uh, This one's a long one. Um, so this one's from Ray Carolyn. Ray, uh, this is, gentlemen, I trust this email finds you well. My name is Ray Carolyn. I have served as a general manager for two minor league baseball teams while um, have also serving as a football coach in Washington State University as special teams consultant to several NFL coaching staffs, uh, the Rams, Vikings, Jets, and Cowboys. I've also served as president of McGregor Sports uh, Sporting Goods, which is ironic, uh, Ray, because I know McGregor. Um, I don't know him personally, but I'm, I'm very familiar with him. A global manufacturer of sports equipment, Rydell. Uh, sports Specialty Corp and Sand Skirt Uniforms. I've also served on the official NFL and MLB Sports uh, License Marketing Committee. My experience includes serving as VP of Sports Marketer for Coca-Cola. This guy's done a ton. Um, so he goes, he continues on. Um, and uh, let me see here, let's wrap this up. Uh, as a company, we broadcast college football games. I have made a number. Um, so he uh, would welcome the opportunity to chat with you about this exciting opportunity. I wish you every continued success. You, you know what I love about Ray's email? I just love positive people, like I was telling Coach Fowler. You know, you can be driven, hungry, and uh, like, like us. I mean, we're doing something that no one's done. I mean, 
you know, creating, executing a professional football league nationwide. Uh, it's just a huge undertaking. But I, uh, I stay positive, man. And there's been a ton of like highs and lows, adversity. But man, it's game time. So, so Ray, I'm gonna shoot this over to, um, to team, and then I'll get I'll get this thing picked up, so we can jump on a call because we'd love to talk to you, okay? And guys, please, uh, you know, he sent this. Uh, Ray sent this to info at majorleaguefootball.pro. Um, but team, as far as working with the league. And us working with you, uh, please email the team at Major League Football because that's actually looked at a lot more than this. We only look at this uh, every now and then. Looking to be a head coach of one of your teams, I have extensive football knowledge and experience. This is from Philip Merling. Philip, send your resume to team at majorleaguefootball.pro. And hey guys, I know like, you know, uh, I hope, and please spread the word, I hope you guys are watching Building It because, you know, these emails, um, you know, the Q&A on these emails is where you're gonna learn as far as what to do with the league, as far as what you, if you wanna be involved. So, uh, and again, guys, I, I invite any of you that wanna just jump on a call uh, with me and talk about the league and talk about your franchise market. Let's say you're in Portland. Let's talk about the uh, the Portland franchise of Major League Football. Looking to join, uh, looking for a team to join. So that was another one. And guys, I appreciate your patience getting through these. Um, okay, so this here is from Chloe Martin. Um, Wikipedia is considered uh, to be the world's most significant tool for reference material. So I gotta say something about Wikipedia, by the way. They are not, like it's great if you wanna learn, but they're not like, uh, they're not very accurate. Like in other words, uh, I, think, I think almost anyone can post onto Wikipedia, but so one of my uh, members of my team uh, basically said that, that it was mentioning us on Wikipedia but they had us down as like a semi-pro, and um, we're not a semi-pro. We're a professional fall football league. So let me continue. The wiki links show up on the first page of Google 97% uh, of the time. With a page on one of the most re uh, referenced v tools, you are sure to get yourself or your business noticed. So if you're thinking of getting a Wikipedia page created, it's the best time of the year. If you're interested in getting more information, just respond back to this email. So, you know, guys, we we have a lot of things going on, which, uh, and this is from Chloe Martin. And Chloe, thanks for reaching out to us. But, you know, we have, the stadiums was our number one priority, okay? And now uh, getting GMs and head coaches are number two. So everything else will come. We don't want a lot of exposure right now um, because, you know, we, we're trying to get all the infrastructure in place. We have 10 months before we kick off. There's so much going on. So um, even though like, yeah, we want everyone to know about Major League Football, but right now, is really not the time what we're because we the more people that start coming after us the more overwhelming it becomes for our team uh, our sales team our operations team our administrative team our legal team and the list goes on so uh, we know we got to have an instagram we know we got to have a facebook we know we got to have a better website which we're currently working on but um so um so hopefully that kind of answers your question um, and this is from Anthony Brown. I'd like to know more about the team, uh, what, I, what I possibly can do to help out right now. I'm telling everybody about it. Um, and Anthony, I love your enthusiasm. Uh, uh, tell, so, so they'll be aware about having a team. Tell me if there's anything else I can do. You know, and that's what I love about uh, from Anthony. Anthony Brown is that he just wants to help out and guys you know it's not always about money it's about just I mean you know I, this is how much money I've made so far with this league and I've been working on it for years and years so it's about the passion and that's why I do this league I just love um, I love major league football I love the league I love knowing that we're giving opportunity to so many people it's so exciting so Anthony um, please uh, let's jump on a call 
Uh, I know some of you guys are like kind of, uh, you know, not afraid of the camera, but don't like to be in front of a camera apprehensive. But, you know, uh, let's let's uh, for sure jump on a call and talk about uh, ways that you could um, can work with us because we'd love to have you, you know. So I'm going to send this to team at majorleaguefootball.pro. What do you think about that? So I'm looking forward to jumping on a call with Anthony. Okay, this one here. Um, bear with me guys, bear with me. Okay, so I hope this message finds you well. My name is CJ Conant, and I am an MBA student at MIT, as well as the founder of CEO Player Trader. I believe I've heard, um, uh, okay, so a next gen digital platform designed to boost fan engagement. I don't know if I already read this one, but uh, first of all, CJ, thanks for reaching out. He's a CEO of Player Trader. So guys, it, even if he's reaching out just to get exposure for a Player Trader, guys, reach out, man. We'll help out in any way we can as well, you know. We all got to work together. So um, it's a, a next-gen generation digital platform designed to boost fan engagement and unlock new revenue streams for emerging sports leagues. We're, we've successfully launched Player Trader with leagues like the AUDL, the Ultimate Frisbee League in North America. And uh, so, so CJ, um, I know you're busy, man. You sound, but let's jump on a call because I'd love to talk to you about it. Uh, so let me send your, let me send, um, so bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Hey, this is raw. Building it is raw. Execution, develop Major League Football moment by moment. So uh, let me, I'm going to send this, bear with me guys, I want to send this over to team so we can jump on a call with old CJ. I'm guessing he's not that old if he's at MIT. So set this, okay, move it on. This one here, uh, please reach out your earliest convenience. Uh, the NCAA cut my college career short and I've been through every hoop and hurdle searching for the opportunity. I'd have so much to give this game and I'm more motivated than ever. So this is a player, this is Michael Creedle. Creedle. Michael, uh, majorleaguefootball.pro, click uh, tryouts and uh, look forward to meeting you. So this here, um, This is from Walter Johnson. Does the league have a cash app account so people can donate to the league? You know, so, you know Walter, that is very generous of you. And um, uh, so I'm guessing he's talking about something like Venmo or something like that. Um, I got something better, Walter, that you're going to love um, that I think I've already shared with you guys. Well, actually, we have. But we don't want donations, but we'd rather you buy shares. So um, we are selling shares for five of our teams, Alabama, Arkansas, St. Louis, San Antonio, and Oakland. So not only will you be able to buy shares, um, but uh, you'll be able to get dividends, so you'll be able to make a profit. You'll be able to sell the shares. So it's not just bragging rights of saying I'm the owner of the Oakland franchise of Major League Football. So the minimum amount is $100 per share. We're selling 50,000 uh, shares per team. That generates uh, $5 million per franchise. 25 million that will help us kind of like with our expenses uh stadium rental etc during the first season so um uh, walter my suggestion is um go on uh well all, as soon as we're, we're our shares go live we'll share with you uh the way to do it uh so um definitely make sure you buy shares uh instead of donating so then you'll own a part of a major league football franchise which i think is very exciting so, uh, but Walt, that was very, very, uh, very, very generous of you. Okay, um, this this is also from Walt Walter. Uh, will Alabama team play in Legion's Field? Um, yes, Walter, you nailed it. So, um, Legion's Field is our home field for the Alabama franchise. It's in Birmingham. Um, and uh, so we actually went out there and saw. It's kind of like an old historic. Um, very like uh, rich in history 
And so I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, we've been told Huntsville is a great city to play in, but our first season will be played at Birmingham. And, you know, it's we, we just want to pack that stadium. So, um, uh, yes, Walter, so it is uh, Legion's Field. Uh, is Okay, so this one was asking about, the uh, was concerned about, not concerned, but confused about the, the MLFB. Um, which was that spring league that was using our name, Major League Football, that we owned the trademark to. They, but they're defunct. They're no longer in business. So I don't want to get too much into that. Um, let me read one last one. Um, this one, this uh, gentleman said, uh, um, sent a demo reel wanting to play uh, for Major League Football. Michael Bertrand. So, Michael, please uh, send, um, keep, keep, Keep uh, going on majorleaguefootball.pro, check tryouts, and um, there you have it. So, guys, uh, thanks for tuning in this week's episode, and um, um, I greatly appreciate it. Again, so we're, uh, we're working on a demo to use to promote the sale of shares for our five franchises. The reason we're going with those five again, because we have five great stadiums in there, um, and we're not going to have to build a, you know, hundreds of million dollar stadium. Uh, in some of these other markets down the road, we're going to have to. So we're going to need a, a, um, a, a team owner that's got deep pockets to be able to do so because the days of these cities and counties and states using taxpayers dollars to build multi-million billion dollar stadiums is quickly coming to an end. So guys, have a great week. Uh, thanks again for tuning into this week's episode of Building It. And let's jump on the call now with Coach Fowler, the um, head coach for the Virginia franchise of Major League Football. Talk to you soon. Hey, Coach. Hey, hold on, hold on. So, hey, Adam, how you doing? Good, man. I just can't see you. Wait, you're coming. There. You got me now? There you go. <laughs> how, you, how you doing? Good, man. How you doing? Doing all right, man. In Cincinnati for a couple of days and uh, be flying out tomorrow. Okay. Dude, I love that you got a big smile, man. That that <laughs> hey, that means the world, man. It, it, it says a lot, as crazy as it sounds. You know what I mean? So Yes, so, yes sir. So you want to be the head coach of uh, the Virginia franchise of Major League Football, correct? Correct. So tell the fans of not just Major League Football, but Virginia about yourself, uh, your coaching, et cetera, if you would. Uh, college coach for 19 years. Uh, uh, was one of the top five recruiters in the nation. Uh, um, also what coached high school college? football. What college? Uh, Norfolk State, Cal Berkeley, Virginia Union. Um Lincoln University, and, and Johnson C. Smith University. Okay, so let's go back even further back uh, growing up. When did you first get into coaching? 1996, wow. under Bill Davis. Good, good memory. It was that quick. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, I remember like it was yesterday. Uh -huh. um, yeah, he hired me right out of college. Uh, I was excited to play. I mean, to coach. And so my mom was like, who are you going to take care of for $500 a month, right? So I got lucky. I stayed there for that season, but left him to go work for the great Tommy Knox, who won 90 games straight at Independence High School in Charlotte. Wow. What, right. set, what set him apart? Why was he so successful? Consistency, discipline, um, passion for human performance. So what about for with you, what what's gonna set you apart from other like coaches? Like why do you want to be a coach of uh mate with major league football and the Virginia franchise? And what do you think you can bring to that franchise? Uh, I think developing young people and the opportunity to uh develop, mentor, uh, and elevate guys to the next level to get better opportunities. Also, to provide a uh, atmosphere where people can enjoy a competitive spirit with great talent. And where do you currently live? Richmond, Virginia. So, 
Okay, so uh, where we're playing at Norfolk State, how far are you from there? Norfolk State, Norfolk is roughly an hour, hour fifteen minutes. Okay, so not right, right down, right down sixty four. Okay, gotcha. Which means, of course, nothing to me. <laughs> right. So if you think about think about the what? same distance from Richmond to DC. Okay. It's the same distance from Richmond to Norfolk. Okay, gotcha. Okay, gotcha. Well, we're in Tampa, so it's kind of like, you know, like you, th that is your stomping ground. So f for us, it'd be like saying, like, you know, you know where East Bay is, right? And you'd like, no. <laughs> All right. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, rel it's relatively close. I mean, okay. everything's connected. Uh, the midpoint would be Williamsburg between Tidewater and Richmond. It's Williamsburg, Virginia. Okay. Well, let me tell you, uh, let, uh, kind of bring you up to date, okay? So okay. Major League Football, you know, it's not like starting a, you know, a Subway sandwich shop. There's a lot of franchises. There's a lot that goes into it. There's um, There's been a lot of adversity, a lot of highs and lows, but – you know, getting the stadiums, like we're still battling with the Oakland Coliseum. We've been talking to them for four years. And, you know, when we originally reached out to them five years ago, that's when the Raiders left. And then we thought they would be, you know, welcoming us with open arms, which did not okay. happen because as it turned out, the A's didn't like the Raiders there and the Raiders didn't like the A's there because they had to convert the field from a baseball to football, back to a baseball. And it was a lot of so, work. So let me tell you something that's funny. You don't okay. laugh when I tell you this. I was a special projects manager for the city of Oakland when Ron Dellums was the mayor. Oh, So wow. I, de I, de I dealt with McAfee and both sides. Oh, that's interesting. So then you know. Right. You know everything. Right. right. I actually created Radical Wheels, which used both parking lots of each facility. Okay, so then you know. Okay, then you know all about it. So, yeah. So, so how long? How long ago was that? How many years ago was that? Uh, uh, two thousand eight, nine in that era around that time. Okay. Well, yeah. So basically, so we're now like we correspond like I do quite a bit with the vice mayor of Oakland, Rebecca Kaplan. Mm -hmm. we're trying to like, and now the um, I don't know what you know, but the. Um, African American Sports and Entertainment Group bought 50% of the stadium from the city of Oakland and the other 50% from the Oakland A's. Okay. So, so the, but they're not taking over that management until 2026. So we're wanting to kind of get involved on in 2025. However, we've already Are they met, are they still in the contract with SMG? Um with who? SMG. No. No, okay. You're talking, you're talking about the stadium? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I shouldn't have said no so quickly. You know, um, coach, I don't know if that is who they're with. I know that they have one, this is their last year under contract. I don't actually, okay. um, so the, anyway, where we are now is that we're trying to get, but at the same time, we already have a really good relationship with John Beam, which you probably know who he is. He's okay. the athletic director. Uh, been the head coach over at Laney College. When you talk to Coach Beam, tell him you talk to Coach Fowler. Okay, I will. He's a good dude, man. He's hell a of a guy. Hell yeah. of a guy. Oh yeah, he's. You know what? He's. Um, yeah, I never. I, I never met him in person until like we went out there to do like a press conference tour. But yeah. Um, <laughs> and and he and I. I mean, it was great because um, he was kind of like a ball buster at first. You know. Right. And then as soon as I met him, like our chemistry just like clicked and he and I got along great, just a good dude. Um, mm -hmm. Exactly. So, you know, my loyalty or our loyalty with Major League Football is to John Beam and his, you know, his whole organization and his team okay. because they offered us Laney Field. So that's where we're committed to now. And we're just okay. not, you know, it's been a lot of like work trying to get in the Oakland Coliseum and, and, and Rebecca, the vice mayor, Rebecca Kaplan says, we want you guys here. So we're still like trying to work that out. But one thing the key to Oakland, the key to Oakland is this, you got to have the council. You got to have those guys. Well, you um, got to have, you know what you got to have more than anything is to do what the hell you say you're going to do. And the thing True. is, man, let me tell you, I don't, 
our days of bagging coach are long over. Okay. It's yes. we've been through a lot of shit up till now and trying okay. to get everything together. And that's why I'm very loyal to John, uh, to coach beam and his staff because okay. he's always done what he says he's going to do. And that means the world, you know, like you've stayed in touch with me via text. You always reach out and that communication, Correct. man, you don't think I noticed that. That's why we're on this call now. You yes, know, sir. I always tell everyone I'm a nobody who's very busy. So I got a lot of stuff going <laughs> on, right? But, you know, so, right. so anyway, going back to that. So, you know, with the stadiums, there's been so many moving parts to make sure um, Melody, who's the AD out there at uh, Norfolk State, she's been mm -hmm. amazing. She's right. great. So um, so what we've had to do is kind of restructure. We You don't really know who you have in front of you. Um, like you could, you could ha have a receiver that could tell you how good he is. Well, once you run his 40 time and you see him run some routes and then be able to catch in traffic. So it's kind of like a resume. You don't really know who you have until they begin. So we've had some, a lot of personal, uh, personnel changes, a lot of like, um, so we're trying to like clean filter out, um, I understand very clearly what you're saying. Yes. Okay. Very good. Right. So, you. um, so you definitely, um, you, you're, you uh, want to move forward as the head coach for the Virginia franchise, correct? Yes, sir. I, I will accept your offer. Okay. Well that you just got it. Okay. So okay. Let's, let's make it happen. Okay. Okay. And then just, uh, help us also with the infrastructure. So if I have, you know, if, if we ask you to jump on a call with another coach in another market, um, Absolutely. You know, keep up your good attitude, man. Cause let me tell you, uh, you know, like you, you've heard like one thing, all people's bullshit. You ain't got time for. Time for right. So um, that's what I, I really try to surround myself, my team with positive energy and, uh, and that focus. So, so start working coach, if you could, um, I'll, I'll put you in touch with, uh, with, with Melody over there at, um, at uh, Norfolk state in case, you haven't already talked to her so we can kind of get the infrastructure going, going back to your asking um, questions about the team name and all that. We have the team name for Virginia, um, but we can't announce it until. So we have a trademark attorney that files with the United States patent and trademark office. Okay. So until that's been um, like, once I get the, the green light that we can disclose the name, but it's all okay. going to happen very quickly. So we have okay. the names for all 24 franchises. Um, okay. So, so that's the good news there. I will tell you this, and I'm not saying this to you, but I'll, I'll direct this to everyone who's going to watch this, because this is going to be on this week's episode of Building It, this talk you okay. and I. But I'm going to yes, direct sir. this to everyone out there. Um, I learned when I worked for the Sheriff's Office in North Florida, all my former sergeants, Lieutenants were all former Marines, and they basically said, just do what we say. They didn't say it so nicely to me. It was a mm -hmm. little harsh, but I try to convey that message like, we know what we're doing. Just, you know, be patient, be calm. There's a lot of moving parts. We're trying to make it happen. Be patient, okay. be positive, and we, uh, we shall prevail. Um, just got today with ticket return, which I'm sharing actually with the fans of Major League Football, Arkansas. Okay. The ticketing for Arkansas, they're like this close. We're going to have the test uh, test links tomorrow or the next day. So Arkansas will be able to start buying tickets for their uh, for the Major League Football Arkansas. And uh, then we move on to the next. I'm not sure where we stand with Virginia. I'll have to look. So, um, But going back, so that's kind of where we are. Do you have any questions, Coach Fowler, regarding <laughs> Major League Football Virginia? Uh not at this time. I don't have any questions. Just looking forward to uh, making this thing work and helping improve the quality of young people's lives and being a positive asset to Major League Football. Man, that's everything. And we kick off in the fall without fail. No preseason. So, um, and uh, now that you are officially on board as the uh, head coach for Virginia, you'll be in, in our link so that you'll you'll be getting updated more information. And, and coach, on a serious note, man, I appreciate your patience. I know, man. Let me tell you, perseverance is the key. Hey, yes, I, sir. I, I've been in the career of advertising for over probably 
for, for like a lot of years and, and you never quit, you never give up, you, you just never right. stop. And that's the, that's the difference. So welcome to the team, my brother, and we'll, uh, we'll talk soon. Okay. And uh, any other questions or comments in no, closing? No, no, sir. That's it. Look forward to hearing from you guys. Have you enjoyed this call? Yes, sir. Very much so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, coach, have a good day, man. We'll talk soon. All right. All right. Thank you, coach. Thank you.